Hi there, I'm Jess Neary of Jess Neary Feng Shui. And today we're gonna to talk all about the fame and reputation Gua. Now the Bagua map is a nine grid tool that is used by feng shui experts such as myself to locate different areas of our home and identify how it's related into our life. So this is really a beautiful key to bridge our home and life together. And I've already talked about the other eight guas. So this is the final gua in the Bagua map series. Head on over to my IGTV section here on Instagram to learn more about the other eight guas. And these other eight guas include wealth and abundance, love and relationships, health, career and life path. We've got family in there, creativity and children. I mean, there's eight total. I think you get the point. The ninth gua that I'm going to mention and talk about today is the fame and reputation gua. And this gua is located at the back of your home in the direct center. So when we're looking in through the front door, this is going to be at the, that, that being the front of the home, we're going to be looking at the very back and in the middle. So we can look at this particular gua on any floor. So I always think of it like a column for each of the nine areas. And so all the energy that's circulating in this area, depending on, or regardless of what floor it's on, it's impacting your fame and reputation. The fame and reputation has everything to do with your outward projection, your how you're being seen and how you're being recognized, your reputation in this world. Oftentimes we're looking at this from a perspective of your career or your field of, of study and interest if you're looking to get a promotion for example if you're looking to receive a raise if you're looking to be seen kind of in a different light or if you feel like you're not being compensated in in many ways um for for how you feel then this is the particular area we can begin shifting and bringing those intentions in of what you're looking to attract and manifest and the opportunities that are going to come your way this particular area is a fire element area. So, and it's also represented by the color red, hence why I'm wearing this red dress today. Red is one of the highest vibrational colors that you can use in a space. It immediately brings in that fire element. It, it is incredibly high vibe and high energy. Um, there's other ways we can bring in the fire element in the space as well. And if red is too strong of a color for yourself, you can bring in pinks, you can bring in corals, you can bring in something that's got a little bit of white to, to bring it down just a little bit. Um, there are other ways we can bring in the fire element and that's by using triangles in your space and using that shape. So if you have, for, for example, a wooden mountain landscape art, um, it could also be like an actual wall decor, or, you know, piece that you have, which you see very often. That is something that you can uh, relate to the fire element and use in your space. Color red. Now I'm talking about triangular shapes. Other ways you can literally bring in fire through candles, of course. We can use essential oils that are a bit spicy. So we could use cinnamon, clove, uh, even ginger has those uh, fiery characteristics. It's very warming to our body and to the space as well. Elements that we want to avoid or limit in the space is the water element. The water element has a way of dowsing and suppressing the fire element in the space. Very interesting to note because you can include the water element if you're finding that there's just too much going on in this space which is through blues, it could be using reflective materials, it could be having mirrors, glass uh, decor items, that sort of thing. Another item in that element that you want to pay mind to is, is one that's going to fuel the fire in this area is wood. The wood element is a very strong element to have in the space, it's very complementary as well. The wood element includes plants. It also includes actual wood, hence why I mentioned earlier that wooden wall art piece that has the mountains on it um, would be excellent in this area in particular. Um, it also has to relate to the colors of green, teal, 
and brown as well. So we were bringing in, and even purple, so to speak. Purple is a great one to use in the Fame and Reputation Gua because depending on the amount of blue or red in the actual color itself, it could be a fire element or it could be a wood element. So it's this really beautiful color to use in this space. And oftentimes when I'm thinking of that um, incorporating purple, I'm thinking of using perhaps an amethyst that's set with your intentions and that you've activated with your intentions. So you can place that intentionally in that fame and reputation gua. Thank you so much for following along for this nine episode series all about the Bagua map. If you're interested in receiving a copy of the Boggle Map yourself with instructions on how to apply it in your home, please mention so in the comments here on this video. If you're looking for more information as to how to shift the energy in your home, once you start noticing like, wait a minute, I've got so much water in my fire element area of fame and reputation, where do I go from here? Send me a message. I also offer complimentary calls that are 15 minutes in length so we can talk about if feng shui is appropriate for you, if a consultation one-on-one. -on -one. I also have some feng shui essentials online classes that are specific to each room in your home that are available now in my link in bio. So I've got a ton of resources available to you. And if you're looking for any more information, feel free to send me a message here on Instagram. Check out my website at justneary.ca and follow along for more information about applying feng shui in your home for that healthy energy flow. Bye for now, everyone.